ready to go with all of us. This is it. Uh, and, and certainly, there is no doubt, no one is going to pretend you haven't had years of a fractious relationship with your employers at all of these sites. It's not been a good time. You have employers attacking conditions. You have employers who just will not talk to you. And this waste of money, public money in the courts. You know, it's unbelievable in so many ways. <coughs> Backed up by the fact that we also now, of course, have a very hostile government. And this is going to make things even tougher, but we're not deterred. It's going to make it tougher to get onto sites for unions, but we're not going to be deterred. We're going to be ready to go at every turn. We're not going to let them stop us talking about the positive and making our way forward in this relationship. We're going to make them come to the table. We're ready to go and they need to be as well. There is no doubt about it. And I was thinking, uh, you know, uh, about this. You know, there's several things you can do when you're faced with hardship. And, uh, you know, it's, it's, it's that thing that we have to think about. One is to exit. And all of us know colleagues who have, who have exited the profession. And we know unions that have exited and said it's all just too hard. The other is to voice, to stand up, together, all of us. And it's fantastic. One thing about this is, it's no one site here. And it is actually something about having other colleagues around the country that you know are standing up as well. You know, if you can get everybody at your site to wear one of these, and you walk around and see, we're ready to go, even if nobody else knows. Ready to go for what? <laughs> it makes you feel good. <laughs> you know, and that's really important. It's really important, our members, that you feel supported, that you feel part of a collective, that you feel part of something bigger. Um, you know, it's, it's, you know, we could probably come up with secret handshakes to come with it as well. <laughs> <laughs> they can go later. Um, but I was thinking about it, and I was thinking about it in terms of, of my family and, and when you see these colours. Um, and um, we were actually talking about bogans earlier in the day, weren't we? My family owned race cars. And one of the things about that, of course, is when you're sitting at the, at the edge of a race track <coughs> ready to go, they have the red light, the orange light, and you can watch race car drivers, you know, as they prime themselves, they get ready, and when that green light hits, boy, do they take off. Well, I think we're ready like that as well. I think many of us... to negotiate. We've got a team of people ready to go. I've been to some of the claims meeting. I know your claims are good claims, they're fair claims, they're reasonable claims. There is nothing there that an employer should back away from. Nothing at all. They're not only claims that allow you to get on and do your job well, but they're claims that will support a quality public tertiary education, which is something we all want as well. So our challenge now is to convince everybody else to join us, not just TEU members, but our students. Our students need to be on our side. The power of having them stand beside us and say, you know, you need to look after the staff here because they look after us, is really important. So take time in your day to talk to your students about it if they want to know what's going on. If you happen to be wearing a sticker, tell them why you're ready to go, what you're ready to go for. We need our communities behind us. And I think, you know, in places like Northland where, you know, North Tech is a big part of the community, as are all the politics around the country. Having our communities with us is really, really important. Talk to them about it. Use the local media if you can. Um, it, it, it's really, really important that they're on our side. And we've seen the power of it recently with annoying WinTech a little, the bosses at WinTech a little. <laughs> you know, um, when you can get local papers on your side, what they want is they want to see local people talking about things that really affect them. Write letters. You know, write letters to the paper. It's hard to do sometimes, but if lots of people are doing it, or you've got friends doing it on your behalf, I can say sometimes it's easy to get someone you know to write their letter saying, hey, look, this is really important to our community. Um, so get out there and talk to people. The other thing I'm challenging people to do all the way around, because while this is a dispute with your bosses, and it is, with our employers, certainly their job would be a lot easier if the government was a little friendlier. Put pressure on them by the political realm if you can. Local MPs are well-connected people. Go and see them. Knock on their door on a Saturday when they have a clinic and say, you know, why are you letting the politics sector go down the Googler? Why aren't you doing something about this? Have you asked them what's going on at our side? Have you asked them what's happening at WinTech, at, at um, UniTech? Actually get them on your side. So we're ready to go. We're ready to do many things. 
We're ready to do it now. And I am quite confident that the power of all the people we have, and the big thing we do have, is lots and lots of people, and you've already heard, you know, you've got other branches supporting <coughs> you. We may not be able to, in other places, take any form of industrial action, but we can let people know what's going on. We can write supportive letters, and we can write, we can, we can write to the other sites and tell them what we think. We, we know people in these sectors, so it is really important that we really stand up to all now. Um, it's always hard at the end of you know one round of long fight to get ready for the next one, but I can see you're all ready. You're all ready to, to make a positive start. Um, let's get them to the table. Thank you. Yeah.